Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to another video. This side of the Star Wars Black Series Heavy Infantry Mandalorian, aka Heavily Armored Mandalorian, whichever one you want to call it. I know some people are just calling him Ham for Heavy Artillery Mandalorian, but yeah. Anyway, it's a pretty nice figure. It's pretty simple and is a Best Buy exclusive at the moment. Who knows when it'll pop up in regular stores, this and that. But overall, it's a really fun and simple figure. Doesn't come with much, but he's one of those characters that, you know, you kind of fell in love with the first time you saw him. So... I'm going to be very simple, jump into the articulation, pretty much, you know, what's going on with the guy. Now, the head can go up, can go down, you can rotate left and right. You actually get a little bit of expression out of him when you tilt it sideways, as you can see right here. You have an upper torso swivel that's round, so you actually get a nice rotation here, which is pretty cool. I like that a lot. They even have a hidden butterfly joint on him. It's not much, but it does do enough to... Kind of gets you that extra bit of range of motion. And I like that they're being a little considerate. Considering I do not buy many Black Series, I don't know if that's the standard or not. So you'll have to bear with me on that one. And then uh, then we have these nice soft shoulder pads, which would allow the arm to still come up and the armor to come over it, which looks very nice. We have a little bit better than a 90 degree angle articulation here. No bicep swivel, but we do get the forearm swivel here. And the arm can still rotate all the way around. On the right arm, the hand peg goes up and down and not in and out, like your standard stuff that uh, you would see. But I noticed that they do that for some hands, and this could be because it is a trigger hand, depending on how they go about it, or to hold a certain weapon. So we'll get into that in a second. The same thing for the left arm. It allows you to arm to rotate all the way up. Gives you that nice bit of range, you can see here. But you're only going to get the 90 degrees, not, nothing more. This one, on the left hand, the peg goes in and out instead of up and down. Mine's actually pokes out a little bit. I'm not sure if that's going to be the same for everyone else. As you can see here, it's poking out just a little bit extra. I may cut out the excess because even after heating it up, it just would not stay, it would not go all the way in. So if anybody else is having an issue, maybe it's a product issue or maybe it's just me, I don't really chalk it up, you know, to anybody. So, you know, it's one, it can be a once in a lifetime thing. There is a port for his backpack for the heavy artillery. We'll get into that in a second. Then we have his waistband, which actually sometimes it sits really high, depending on what you do, but you can wiggle it down to about the waist where it's supposed to be. When you're doing certain things with articulation, it may rise up. Then this has thigh swivel as well. The leg comes up pretty far. Legs are double jointed. You actually get very nice ankle pivot, which is very good on Hasbro's end. And the leg can go, I'm sorry, the foot can go back and forwards. There's no uh, peg here. I mean, sorry, no peg. There is no can't figure out the word but uh it's pretty smooth transition no ruggedness no cap to stop it so there's no resistance here so be careful with this one when doing anything because it, if you do it too much it may get loose but that's nothing some clear nail polish can't fix for those of you who want to add the extra bit of friction or do the uh the pledge floor cleaner technique so there's plenty of those kind of things overall i like the way this guy looks and feels he's just Looks good. He's a bigger dude. Well, much bigger than the Mandalorian, which we'll get into in a second. And he has a nice bit of weathering on him throughout the body. And those of you that customize, I know you're going to paint it up to be dirty and cool and have scorch marks. And I, and I love that kind of stuff. So keep doing that kind of stuff. I like seeing that on Instagram. You see the cannon here for his... I'm not sure if this is going to be another sort of rifle or a flamethrower, but we can use our imagination and kind of just have fun with that. Now, for his backpack, which I think is pretty cool. Now, the backpack is cool because he's a heavy artillery guy, and it plugs in. So, you can plug the weapon in, store it just this like this, rotate the handle here, and we can just plug it into his back, and it looks pretty cool. You're going to rotate this down to slide into his arm and plug this in now. you got to make sure the grooves match up when plugging it in, and voila. Now you have him technically fully armed, which looks great. Honestly, I... I really do love this look. Now, when you are setting up for the heavy infantry gun, there is a handle on the back side. You just plug that in. And then there is a handle that rotates out. And let's match that up. And then how you want to do this is really up to you. How you want him to hold it, if you want him to hold it right. But he does look really good, no, pretty much no matter what you do with this guy. 
So <clears throat> as I sit here, play with him a little bit, you see, even in the most basic pose, he'll look pretty good. When I like this, even with some extra fiddling, you can get some extra articulation out of it. You can also hold it here from this side as well. So there's tons of different ways to hold this guy and still get a lot of fun out of him. These are the kind of things I really enjoy. And then, like I said, the double jointed knees and things like that. You can do crouching poses. You can do flight poses. Speaking of flight poses, he still has the two ports on his jetpack. So if you have any extra Iron Man effects, you can actually plug them into the back. Because I saw Robo do this as well. So shout out to Robo. I don't know who he learned it from. So shout out to that person who taught him. But uh, I saw Robo do it. And as you can see here, you now have a flight heavy Mandalorian, which makes him even more dangerous. What's more dangerous than a guy with a heavy machine gun? Heavy machine gun in the air. So as you can see here, you can get a little flight pose. So that's pretty fun. Now, I'm going to take this gun out, and <laughs> I am going to store it on his backpack so we can actually get a cool size comparison with him and other lines, as well as him with the Mando. The Mando that we know. So let's stand you straight up. Let's have you look pretty decent and pretty for the people. Let's fix your belt. Voila. Like I said, it does not come with much. So if you want to try to enjoy yourself and have fun with him, I think you should. We don't know what these guys' story are. So here he is next to our Mando that we know in the story. And as you can see, he is much bigger, just like he was in the show. And I like that they kept him size-wise pretty good. I don't know why I'm having trouble standing these guys up right now. So size-wise, you can see not only just height-wise, but as far as uh, width-wise. He's much bigger in every case to our Mandalorian, which is pretty dope. I like that a lot. Shows that, you know, there are size differences between them. And pretty cool. It's good to see more diversity like that for, for different sizes. Now we're going to stack him up with some other stuff that I have, whether it's SHF or uh, any other series. I don't have many black series. So the next one I can compare it to, and I just thought this was cool, so I bought it, <laughs> and I haven't done anything with it, is this Imperial Shock Trooper. And as you can see, these guys actually are still pretty much smaller than him as well. <clears throat> next up, we're going to have a Marvel Legends Spider-Man. Also a Hasbro thing, and still smaller than him, but does have, uh, it just looks different. But it does look like they can fit in. Here he is with Hasbro's Lightning Collection uh, Black Ranger that I modded. This is from the Armored Black Ranger. Here he is with an SHF Stormtrooper, the New Hope version. So there's that. Looks pretty good. I like that a lot. Next up, we have Luke from SHF. So technically, these guys are in the same timeline, so it works out. Here we are with Han Solo. So at some point, they can probably meet on our adventures, or you can do pictures with them. And I think this will look pretty good. Next up, we have a Mythic Legions Balam. <clears throat> and this is where the guys probably will look a little out of scale. Oh, these guys actually look perfectly in scale. He's a big, giant tiger knight. <laughs> we have a 1,000 toy synthetic human. And last but not least, we're going to do an SHF and a Mezco. Well, a Kamarada SHF. So here we are with a Mezco Batman, which looks pretty good, the Flashpoint one. And then we have an SHF Kamarada Beast Renewal, who I was tinkering with. So you can see he's kind of just in the middle. He can kind of fit in with any and everything, but also with his own scale, he looks pretty big, which is dope because he's supposed to be a big, robust dude. So I've thoroughly enjoyed this figure. Hope you guys enjoy the photos that I take. And I've actually been really excited watching The Mandalorian. So I hope you guys are too. In the meantime, guys, hearts as always, hope you do good, be good, drink your water. Later.